This video is about the different forms of DNA. The objective of this video is the introduction, why different forms of DNA exist, B form of DNA, A form of DNA, acid form of DNA, and other rare forms of DNA like cDNA, dDNA, and eDNA. If you haven't watched the video of virgin and prep model of DNA, please do watch it before you deal with different forms of DNA. The most commonly known or the classical DNA structure is B form DNA, and this is the Watson and Crick B form DNA. This is a right handed double helical structure. So, B form DNA is a right handed double helical structure, and this is the most commonly or the classical L DNA structure. Apart from the classical structure, there are different forms of DNA. And these are DNA A, DNA Z, and DNA E. More about these forms of DNA we'll discuss later on in this video. Now we will discuss why these forms of DNA exist. We know that from a small bacteria to a eukaryote, the DNA is compactly arranged. That is, it is compactly arranged within a nucleus or a cell. So it is thousand folded to fit within a nucleus. So there is no enough room for a DNA to stretch out in a perfect linear B DNA form. Now we will discuss the most common form of a DNA that is DNA B form. And this is proposed by Watson and Crick and hence this DNA is often known as Watson and Crick form of DNA. It is a double helical form and they propose that two strands of DNA each in a right handed helix are wound around the same axis. So the two strands of DNA are held together by her hydrogen bonding between the bases. So Watson and Crick propose that the two strands of DNA held together by a hydrogen bond, each strand of DNA is a right-handed helix. According to the Watson and Crick model of a DNA, the two strands are anti-parallel, and that is, one strand runs from 5' dash to 3', dash, whereas the other strand runs from 3' dash to 5'. Dash. So these two strands run opposite to each other and the basis in the double helical model is that a purine can always pair with a pyrimidine. According to the Chalkaf's rule, A always pairs with P and G always pairs with C. That is a keto base pairs with an amino base. That is we can say that a purine always pairs with a pyrimidine. So between an A and P basis, there are two hydrogen bonds and as between a G and C, there are three hydrogen bonds. So oh, their bases pair in a manner that is a purine always pairs with a pyrimidine. That is A with P and G with C. A and P has two hydrogen bonds, whereas G and C has three hydrogen bonds within them. A B form of DNA is always complementary base pairs. And between a base pair, it is 34 nanometer, and per ten, it is 3.4 nanometer. And there are 10 base pairs per turn. So there are 10 base pairs per turn and per turn its measurement is 3.4 and between base pair it is 34 nanometer and the diameter is 9 nanometer or in an angstrom it is 20 angstrom. This diagram is a classical B DNA and that is 
It is a right-handed helical structure of a DNA. Its backbone is made up of sugar phosphate and it has bases that is a purine always pairs with a pyrimidine. That is A with T and G with C. A pairs with T with two hydrogen bonds whereas G pairs with C with three hydrogen bonds. One complete turn is 34 Armstrong, whereas between two bases it is 3.4 Armstrong. It has both minor grooves as well as major grooves. The two strands run in the parallel direction, that is, one travels from 3 dash to 5 dash, whereas the other travels from 5 dash to 3 dash. Next, we will discuss the A form of DNA. The A form of DNA is a raised type of DNA and this is under hydrating condition. So oh, a DNA which can adopt under hydrating condition is a A form of DNA. So this DNA is almost similar with the B DNA, B form of DNA and this is much shorter than a B DNA. So we get an A DNA when a B DNA is under hydrating condition. So under hydrating condition we get an A DNA. A, a DNA is much wider and flatter than a B DNA. Why? A DNA is similar to B DNA and it is also right handed helix. And the helix diameter of an A DNA is 26 Armstrong. Whereas in B DNA it is 20. The helix pitch that is the height of a turn is 20.6 Armstrong and it is 20 to 25 personally shorter than a B DNA. So it is 20 to 25 personally shorter than a B DNA and in a A DNA it has 11.6 base pairs per turn. Whereas in a B DNA, it has only 10 base pairs per turn. So the distance between adjacent base pairs is 2.9 Armstrong. Whereas the helical twist base pair in a A DNA is 31 Armstrong. In A DNA, it has a hollow central core. So the center is a hollow. And a A DNA, the bases are inclined with the helical axis. So the bases are inclined to the helical axis in a A DNA. So next, the individual base pairs are tilted at an degree of 20 Armstrong with respect to the helical axis. And next, the A DNA has a narrow as well as a deep major grooves. Whereas the minor grooves are wide and shallow. So for A DNA, the major grooves are narrow and deep while the minor grooves are wide and shallow. The deoxy sugar pucker in a A DNA is C3 endoform. And the conformation of the glycosidic bond in a A DNA is andiform. Next, we will discuss about the acid form of DNA and this form of DNA is left-handed helical structure and whereas the B DNA as well as the A DNA is right-handed structures, the acid DNA is left-handed DNA structure and this is in a zigzag pattern and hence we say it as an acid form since it is zigzag pattern. And the acid DNA conformation occurs at a high salt concentration. So it is under high salt concentration and it has a zigzag pattern. Hence we call it as acid form of DNA. The helical diameter of an acid DNA is 18 Armstrong and the total height is 44 Armstrong. And the nucleotide pairs in acid DNA occurs as nucleotide dimers and the helical turn contains 12 nucleotides that is in 6 dimers. 
since it is in nucleotide dimers it is six dimers and it has total of 12 nucleotides so the helical turn per base chain is nine and so for a pyrimidine purine step and for a purine pyrimidine step it is 51 and so and the distance between each nucleotide is 7.4 angstrom and a major groove is more or less flat so the major groove is more or less flat and the minor groove is narrow and deep so the sn dna has a solid core at the center as discussed earlier a e dna has a hollow core at the center the as the acid dna has a solid core at the center and the sugar pucker is c2 dash endo for a pyrimidine and for a purine it is c3 dash endo and a glycosidic bond conformation is anti for pyrimidines and sin for purines this diagram shows three forms of dna that is ADNA, BDNA, as well as the is a DNA. In this, the ADNA and BDNA is right-handed DNAs, whereas the is a DNA is left-handed helical DNA. It is in a zigzag pattern and hence is the name zigzag DNA or the is a DNA. The BDNA is the classical, commonly known DNA. and a dna is much shorter than the b dna it is under hydrating condition a b dna becomes a a dna and a s dna is formed and a high salt concentration in a living cell most of the dna is a mixture of a as well as b dnas and there is a few regions that has a s dna Now let us discuss the other rare forms of DNA. First is a C DNA. A C DNA is formed under 66% of relative humidity, as well as in the presence of lithium and magnesium ions. The C DNA is also right-handed DNA, and it has 33 base pairs per turn. The base pair rotation is 38.58 angstrom. and the axial rise is of 3.32 angstrom per base pair the diameter is 19 angstrom and it is much smaller than the a as well as b dna the length of the base is 7.8 angstrom we will discuss another rare form of dna which is the d dna and this has eight base pair per helical turn these dnas are devoid of guanin and the helical rise is 3.03 angstrom per base pair and the length is of 18.7 angstrom next we will discuss about e dna E DNA is known as extended DNA. It has a long helical axis and the bases are perpendicular to the helical axis. So E DNA is extended DNA. So it the major grooves are deep while the minor grooves are shallow. And the E DNA when it is allowed to crystallize for a long period of time it can form the standard A DNA. So E DNA can form an A DNA when it is crystallized for a long period of time. Now let us summarize the different forms of DNA. A DNA. A DNA is formed when the B DNA is under the hydrating condition. B DNA is the classical DNA. and s dna is formed under a high salt concentration a c dna is formed when it is having a high humidity as well as in the presence of lithium and magnesium 
dDNA is a DNA which is devoid of guanine. Hope the different forms of DNAs are clear. For more such videos, do subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, please like as well as comment.